Hi, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Krigo. Boy, have I got a good video for you today. We're making Philly cheesesteaks. Mmm, doesn't that look good? It's real easy to make, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Here is what I'm using to make the Philly cheesesteaks. I am using a ribeye steak. However, you could use top sirloin steak, sub rolls, an onion. And for this video, I'm using Cheese Whiz, but you could use provolone or American cheese. It doesn't matter which cheese you use for the Philly cheesesteak. Now to get started, you're gonna want to take your steak and you're gonna wanna put it in the freezer for a half hour to an hour. So that way it's easier to slice. Okay, I took the steak out of the freezer and now you want to slice this very thin. About like that. Okay, I'm using an electric griddle today to cook my Philly cheesesteaks. If you don't have an electric griddle, that's okay. You can use a cast iron skillet. When you cut your sub rolls, you don't want to cut them all the way through. I'm taking my cheese whiz and I put them in a pot and I Turn it on medium high just for a minute or two just to melt it a little bit and then I'm going to take it off the heat. You don't want to keep it on too long or your cheese will burn. I've taken my onions and I diced them up and we're going to have our grill on medium high heat. I have it on about 300. Now you are going to want to use a big old spatula. We're going to fry up our onions. I'm going to use put some oil on the grill. And we're gonna to wanna to take our buns and put them on the grill and lightly grill them. And when we toast our buns, we're not using any butter or any condiments or anything, just flat on the grill by themselves. Okay, now we're gonna throw the steak on the grill. Now we want to lightly season our steak with salt and pepper. I'm just going to flip the steak, move it around a little bit. Okay. It's your choice. You can either leave the steak in slices or you can cut them up into pieces. I'm going to choose to cut them up into pieces. Okay, after your meat is cut up, you're going to want to uh, incorporate the onions in with the uh, meat. Now you're going to want to take your cheese, your melted cheese and spread it on the bun. Take your meat and make it the shape of your bun. And you take your bun and you put it over the meat and kind of scoop it like that. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. 
it is delicious. Okay, so that concludes this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification button so you can tell when the next video is coming up. Thank you for watching.